friends, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome, my name is Nikki. So today I have a thrift store haul for you. If you are new around here, I did a whole video on one of my many jobs, which is selling clothing online. I sell it on uh, Poshmark, mostly eBay, blah, blah, blah. I'll leave that link to that video down below. So I went to the Goodwill outlets and I scored pretty damn big. Um, I don't have my receipt, but I spent $41 on all of this stuff. If you don't know what the Goodwill outlets is, that's okay. I just learned about it like not too long ago, a couple months ago. It's essentially where you pay by the pound for clothing. So it's clothing that they maybe either didn't want to sell at Goodwill or they didn't sell at Goodwill or they couldn't get through all their inventory. They send it to the Goodwill outlets. They put the clothing in big bins and you have to work. Like there's, it's work guys. Like my mom and I were at the outlet for like four hours because they circle things out and they bring new inventory out take away other inventory. So like constantly, and this one I went to, which is in the Los Angeles area, they were changing the bins like literally every 10 minutes. It's awesome, but it's also like, oh, as soon as you're starting to go through one bin, they're bringing out new stuff. It was wild, it was a great day. So you've already seen from the title some things I've found. So let's jump into it, grab a snack, cause I got a lot of stuff for $41. Uh, first up are these cute leggings. I was actually, oh, by the way, I'm not one of those people um, that goes and just sells everything. I actually look for stuff for myself too because I grew up thrifting. So I was gonna keep these for myself. Did I shave my armpits? I talk with my hands a lot and um, then I'll be like editing the video and I'm like talking like this and I'm like, girl, you did not shave, you know you're wrong for that. Why are you showing those people your forest? So, if you're new around here, I talk about all TMI stuff. I was gonna keep these for myself, but I looked it up, and apparently, so this is the brand Society6. So I guess like artists create these clothing. Like it's not just clothing, it's phone cases, it's pop sockets, but artists from around the country will create the design. It's really pretty. I don't know if the camera's picking up like the pinks, the blues, and it's made in the USA. It feels like really nice quality. So I don't know, they retail for really good. Like they retail for like around 40 bucks brand new. So I'll have to look it up, but I was just gonna keep those for myself, but they're really cute. It's bikini time, so I always pick up bikinis, one pieces. Um, this is just a Victoria's Secret brand new pink bottom. The thing about the bins is a lot of times you'll find just one-off things and you can't find the other. Like I found some Prada shoes. Well, I found one Prada shoe, but I couldn't find the other one. So um, this is brand new, never been worn, pink bottom. I couldn't find the top, So, but I feel like I just sold some Victoria's Secret pink sports bras, you know, the brand that actually says pink, and that did really well, so. I wasn't gonna pick this up because I don't have enough storage. Like, you can buy things um, from all seasons. Like, you can buy a winter coat right now and sell it online, it just might sit for a while because, you know, selling online is worldwide, but it just may take a little while to sit. So if you don't have the storage, I don't really recommend buying things that may sit, like winter clothing. But my mom was like, you have to get this, it's in perfect condition. Here's another thing I was planning on keeping for myself. So this is from Zara. I actually already own a jacket like this in pink. You guys have probably seen it on my Instagram. I love furry jackets. I know some people think they're super tacky, but I don't care, I love them. And this one is so soft and comfy. I should mention, if you wanna pick up any of this stuff, it's gonna be on my Poshmark, so I'll leave a link to it down below. It's gonna take me like a couple days to get all this stuff listed, but if you're interested, check out the link. Or I guess you guys could message me and I could sell it to you directly. I know some people do that, but I don't know if I like wanna give out my email. I've had some crazy stalkers before. So I'm gonna try not to keep that for myself. I'm gonna look up some comps for this. It is so soft. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but it is my cup of tea. Now here's one of the ones that I was so excited to find. It was just laying on top of the bin, like people were just bypassing it. This, oh, I'm gonna butcher the name. It's Christian Ardege, Ardege, uh, whatever, Ed Hardy. <laughs> and it's um, a rhinestone jacket and it's like almost in perfect condition. And the comps for these guys are insane. Like the comps range from 100 to a thousand dollars. I'm thinking the ones that are a thousand are probably like really specific vintage ones. And then on the inside, it has the gold soft, I th I'm pretty sure that's polyester. Yeah, it's polyester on the inside, cotton on the outside. 
but I've got to find this specific model and it says Christian Audigier. Audigier. I swear I'm probably saying that horribly. Los Angeles. There's a little bit of staining on the um, sleeve, but I'll just mention that. But everywhere else, it looks great. And the comps on that look amazing. Like, at least 100 bucks, but we'll see. Now, this was an interesting find. I found, again, these were like all just right on top of the bin. Usually people grab stuff with new tags. These are all from Brandy Melville, and they're the John Galt design, the basics of Brandy Melville. I looked it up. They sell it at Brandy Melville. So I have one, two, three, four, five pairs of brand new with tag shorts. I looked these up. They retail brand new for $40. So I was like, hell yeah. They're a little bit faded, but I think they're supposed to be faded black. Again, I was thinking of keeping one for myself and they're all medium, so that makes it super easy for me to list because I can just list, put up one listing, say I have five or whatever. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five. So I don't know if they got like a Brandy Melville closeout. I have no idea because then I saw these. Oh my gosh, I'm dropping them. How many of these do I have? Let's see. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. That took a while. I probably fast forwarded through that. Brandy Melville crop tops, and they're really cute basic plaid crop tops, but there's 13 of them, and each of them cost me 93 cents. Like, come on, this is amazing. I'm definitely keeping one for myself. I'm a big fan of like a crop top and a high waisted short or high waisted jean. I just pretty skimpy in the summer. As I've gotten older, I've covered up a little bit more, but not that much more if I'm keeping it real. <laughs> I do not wear pants in the summertime. Like unless I'm working out, um, I wear workout leggings, but otherwise I wear short skirts, dresses. I hate being like super, super hot. Not so isn't that an amazing deal? Those are new, but they don't have the tag. So I'm just, I just, you know, I'm just always 100% honest in my listing. I'm just going to say it's brand new, never been worn, but there's no tags. So pretty cool. All right, before we keep going, I do have some beauty products I want to tell you guys about. You guys know I'm a big fan of Sulwasu. I swear I butcher their name. It's a K-Beauty brand. This is their first care activating serum. This is my second bottle. I'll show you close-ups. I love this stuff. I told you this, guys. I told you this, guys. I told you guys about this serum probably like six months ago. My oldies, but my goldies will know. I've talked to you guys a lot about this serum. So I was so excited when Sulwasu offered to send me their face mask. I'll sh show you the footage of me applying it. So this is their Concentrated Ginseng Renewing Creamy Mask. When I first opened this, and I'm having like sinus issues right now. I was like, whoa, that smells like green tea. Like it has a very, not strong smell. Yeah, it has a strong smell of green tea, which I don't mind because I love tea. You guys know I do not like coffee and I love tea, but it smell, and if you've ever smelled ginseng, that's what it smells like, green tea and ginseng. And it is really creamy. Like when you put the face mask on, there's a thick cream that's on there. It's almost like you're putting a moisturizing mask on. You guys, I left, it says you're only supposed to leave it on for 20 minutes. I left it on for an hour. I always leave a mask on longer than what they say. And my skin felt so firm and moisturized. I love this brand. I'm not just saying that because they sent it to me. You guys know, I told you about this serum a long time ago. I'll leave a link to both of them down below. I really like their skincare. A lot of K-Beauty products that I've tried, I'm actually a big fan of. I need to pick up some more K-Beauty. If any of you know, it sounded like I said K-Booty. If any of you know of any K-Beauty brands that you really like, leave them in the comments down below. Now here's another brand. This is a French brand, Caudalie. Um, I did a full review video on Caudalie, so if you wanna see detailed reviews, see me applying this stuff, check the video down below because I've been using these for months. So I thought this was super cute because this is a way to try their products and not buy them full price because Caudalie is not an affordable brand, but in my opinion, they are totally worth the price tag. So in this little set, you get the Beauty Elixir, you get the Vino Perfect Serum, which has totally transformed my skin. It has like basically, gotten rid of my dark marks by like 50%. And then the Vino Source Moisturizing Sorbet, which is my current favorite moisturizer right now, along with the Clarins Night Cream. That Clarins Night Cream is amazing. Um, so you can get this for 28 bucks, which is really good because the Beauty Elixir alone is 18. 
The Vino Perfect Serum, that's a pricey bad boy. Like full size, I think it's $79. So it's a great way to try these products out just to see if they work for your skin because everybody's skin is different, right? Um, and try it out and see what you think. So I'll leave a link to these down right, below. Let's get to some more designer stuff. Okay, so my mom actually found this super cute Ted Baker tote. It does have like a couple of like little, I don't know if it's dirt or just like signs of wear, but I thought it was super cute. I didn't realize until literally I started filming this video that the handle right here is like almost coming off. So I'm wondering if I should try to fix it or if I should just, I think what I'm gonna do is just say, um, like, I'm just gonna say it, you know? Oops, sorry, you probably heard me kicking my mic. I'm just gonna say that the handle's messed up and show a picture of it. And then, but I could definitely clean it up. Again, I thought of keeping it for myself, but I was like, where am I gonna carry a patent pink tote? Maybe to the beach, but I'd need to fix the handle. So I'm gonna have to think about that one, but again, Per item, all this stuff cost me 93 cents, so I think I'll be okay. Now, this is a first for me. I don't usually pick up ties, but a lot of my reselling friends were like telling me ties are great because they're so light, they're easy to photograph, they're easy to measure, and then they're easy to ship. So I picked up two, no, I think I got three ties. So this is a Van Hoosen, Housen, Van Hoosen tie. And then this one, which is really cute. I looked this up. This is made in Italy and the brand is Veneziani. Veneziani. Oh my God. That's the tag right there. Um, so I'm excited to list those and see what happens. This was in the same bin where I found all that other Brandy Melville stuff. Really cute Brandy Melville, new with tags, crop top, and it has little flowers on it, which is super cute. I thought of keeping that too, but then I was like, my big old D breast will not fit into that. <laughs> it just ain't gonna happen. All right. Um, these jeans, I haven't been really picking up jeans because I told you guys, I'm limited on storage, so I'm really just focusing on summer items right now. But these tend to sell really good. So these are Torrid Denim, and they are a size 12. And I just thought they were cute. And I know a lot of my friends tell me that Torrid sells really well, and they're very stretchy, and they just feel really soft. So those don't look like a size 12, though. I'm gonna have to measure those. I'm gonna have to look into those because they don't look like a size 12. They look smaller to me. I looked up this jacket. I just picked this up because it's in really good condition and sportswear does really well. This is Augusta Sportswear, adult size small. It's a jacket. It still has the Goodwill tag. So they did try to sell this in the store. If you see that, that's usually what this means. So they tried to sell it in the Goodwill store. I guess it probably sat, they didn't sell it. So then they just sent it to the outlet. So Goodwill was selling it for $9.99. Um, it's in perfect condition. It almost looks like it was never worn, like ever. Again, something I was thinking about keeping because like when I work out really early in the mornings or if I go for hiking, I like to have like a little lightweight jacket like that. And that's really nice in the fall too. So, but I'm gonna list it and see how it does. Now this was just like a last minute thing I just picked up. I, only reason my mom handed this to me because it's 100% silk. I've never heard of this brand. If you guys have, let me know. It's called Stunt Petite. So it's, that's the tag. It has shoulder pads. I mean, it just feels divine though. It's 100% silk, so we'll just see. I'll have to look up that brand. That's one thing I love about thrifting is that I learn about so many different brands. This one, I was so excited to find. Now this one my mom found. My mom was on fire. This was my mom's first time at the outlets and she did a really good job. So this is from Kate Spade and it's this really cute, I wanna say it's called like a checkered style and then uh, it's black and white checkered and then it crisscrosses in the back. Can you guys see that? Crisscrosses there. And this is Kate Spade Saturday and it's a size six. I looked these up. These dresses used go for about $70 to $100. I think the cheapest one I saw, you guys know I don't like the word cheap. I don't know why, it sounds like a cuss word to me. The most affordable one I saw was like $40 used. Again, something I thought of keeping, but then I was like, no, I wanna get the money. <laughs> and I like that it has the elastic back, super cute, and the back is open. So that was a really good find. Mom did good there. Oh, here's the other tie that I got. This is a, 
Istanti tie and it's made in Italy. And this one is 100% silk. I know nothing about ties, so this is like my first time selling ties. I'm just gonna measure it and we'll see how it goes. This was super cute, not my style at all. I don't really wear like bohemian style stuff, but this is a brand that sold at Anthropology, Akimi and Kin, I think that's how you say it. Super cute, kind of like boho style top. Is this boho? I don't even know. To me, like anything Anthropology, I'm like, oh, it's boho style, but very cute, lightweight. I think the colors are beautiful. It's my favorite color, purple. And then another Brandy Melville, and this has the tag. So I don't know. Maybe Brandy Melville donated all this stuff, but it's all new with tags, just a basic striped t-shirt. It's really soft. And what size is this? This is a size, oh, it's one size. One size fits all. That does not look like one size fits all to me. But I've heard when I looked it up, Brandy Melville tends to run like on the smaller side. I don't even know if they make plus size stuff, which kind of sucks, but. Now this is the item I probably put in the thumbnail because I just don't believe it. So I'll show you a close up of this tag, but according to the tag, this kind of embellished, or is it called embellished? This detailed top is Prada, which I don't believe. I don't know, I'm gonna have to look it up. It just doesn't look like a Prada t-shirt. It honestly looks like a Walmart t-shirt that someone put a Prada tag on, but I will look it up and I will let you know, probably on Instagram stories. So if you wanna check it out and see what happened and if it was real, check my Instagram stories because I update you guys there on stuff daily. And if you haven't seen the video where I talk about how I made over 300,000 selling all these used clothes, check out the video right here because I tell you in detail how I got started, how I do it, and the whole process.